Hello there, my name is Basil and this is the third tutorial in my Scratch series. Today we will be looking at variables, lists and sensor input. I will quickly show you what we are making today. Okay, so as you can see, we have a boy in the middle of the screen here and he is asking you, what do you want? And down here we have a box and we um, can type stuff in, so I'm going to put in shoes. Now if I press enter, he says I'll add it to your wish list, and it is on uh, my wish list, which is over here, um, which is a list of different things that I've asked for. And also there's some, um, something showing me the latest item that I asked for. So if I, for example, put something else in, like a bag, he says I'll add it to your wish list again. And you can see shoes are on my wish list, and so is a bag. And the last item that I asked for is a bag, so that's up here. So this is what a list is. So as you can see, it stores like strings of um, just inputs, really. And uh, this is a variable, so it displays like one single, so like a word, a letter, or a number. OK, so we will now be making this. Um, without further ado. OK, so for this project we're not going to be using the cat, so we have to get rid of him. If you are using a Windows mouse like I am, you can right click on him and you can press delete. I'm not sure what it is for Mac, I think, uh, well whatever you use to um, get extra information using your mouse. OK, so as you saw me do there, we're going to press this button again, choose new sprite from file, and we are going to go down and find our boy. So here he is. So this is going to be the sprite we're using today. He needs a script, starting with when green flag clicked, as is normally the case, and he needs a forever script, because as you saw, he keeps asking you forever, so this, um, this program has the potential to keep running forever. So we're always going to need a forever script. And the first thing you notice him do is ask what, um, what do you want. So we need that first. So we're going into sensing and we're going to go down to the block which says ask what's your name and wait. Now if we just quickly press that, we can see that what it does is it makes him say what's your name, which is this bit, and we have to type something in which you can see in the project. So my name is Basil, so I'll type that in. And nothing really happens, but that's what that does. That makes um, him ask you. And in the project, he asks, what do you want? So he's asking, what do you want um, if we run? And because it's forever script, he will always ask, what do you want? So I'm going to keep pressing enter, and he keeps asking me. Now we need to make the list, and we need to make the variable. The list, as you can remember, is wish list. So if I press OK, I press make a list, and then I typed it in, and I pressed OK. And I can drag this around, and I'm going to just put it over here for now. And also, I'm going to make a variable, and that is latest item. So these are the two things that the user will be able to see. And um, so what happens after you ask what do you want in the actual project? What happens is, first he says, we're going to go into say, hello for two seconds, put that in. So he says, I'll add that to your wish list. So we need to type that in. OK, so if we run that, then shoes, I'll add that to your wish list. That's what we've got so far. So um, now we need to actually add it to his um, wish list because um, at the moment he's not really adding anything. So we need to go into variables again and we need to go to the block add thing to wish list. If we press that, we can see that what this does is it adds a new thing to the wish list. Um, and we need to go into sensing again and answer. What this is, is this takes the answer from when you, when it asks you a question. So if I typed in shoes, then answer wouldn't be shoes. 
So this will be whatever he's, um, you say. So um, he'll add whatever you say to the wish list. And also he will set the latest item to whatever you just said in the wish list. So let's run it and see what's missing. I can tell you, but we'll just run it quickly. So what do you want? Shoes. This seems to run okay, but if we um, press the green flag again, we can see he doesn't get rid of the things we asked for last time. Now that's what we want him to do. So we are going to make a script to make him delete what we asked for last time. So we want to get delete one of wish list in variables for the list section and go into this dropout and click all. Now we don't want to put this in the forever bit because otherwise he'll always delete um, all of that you've asked for. We want to make it only at the start, so make it above the forever script. And we also want to take set latest item to and put it here and then click the input and press backspace and if we run it now we can see that um, it's deleted what you asked for last time so if we type in shoes and a bag but then we want to create a new list we can see it gets rid of what we asked for last time okay so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I will be making more, obviously, and we will be going to even more advanced things. Variables and lists are very important parts of um, programming, so expect them to come up again. Thank you, I hope you've enjoyed listening.